How's it going guys? It is 1.05 a.m. 30th of April here in Japan. We have a past level question for biochemistry for step one. Not dramatic. This type of stuff's on the NBME exams. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below. Now start the clip. 62-year-old man has a colon cancer that on... Um, Molecular analysis demonstrates a lack of GTPase activity of G alpha S G proteins. Now, I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. All right, cutting to the chase. G proteins normally are shut off when we have GTP cleaved into GDP. Okay, so GTPases normally shut off G proteins. So sometimes cancers, there will be a lack of GTPase activity which means that the G protein is always on. We have constitutive activation. It can't be shut off. So that's our first point. That's a past level point, okay? So our GTP, our, our G protein is always on, too much sing signaling. Second point is, well, do you know what G alpha S G proteins do? Also past level, which G alpha S G proteins increase adenyl cyclase activity, which increases CAMP. So if we have an always on, a constitutively active G-alpha-SG protein, we have too much CAMP production, which is the answer. It can also just be adenyl cyclase, increased adenyl cyclase activity on the USMLA. Now, to give you some extra value, obviously we have a past level, not a numerical step one anymore, but remembering what the, the G proteins do, and by all means, I'll link my uh, biochemistry PDF in the comments below. But if you remember the mnemonics for G alpha Q and G alpha I, that'll facilitate you remembering what G alpha S does. For example, G alpha Q G proteins, which increase IP3, the mnemonic for that is have one or three MMs histamine 1, alpha 1, vasopressin 1, muscarinic 1, muscarinic 3. So uh, G alpha IG proteins, which decrease CAMP, this would be MAD 2s, muscarinic 2, alpha 2, delta 2, or dopamine 2, okay? You say, well, what are the other ones remaining? Well, we didn't mention beta 1, beta 2, histamine 2, dopamine 1, okay? So those are all G alpha S, G proteins. So correct answer here, as I already fucking said, it's going to be increased AMP, all right? Now, to give you some final value, you should know that Increased CGMP is the answer for both nitrates as well as PDE5 inhibitors such as sildenafil, which is Viagra. So nitrates upregulate guanylyl cyclase, which is going to lead to relaxation of venous smooth muscle, increased venous pooling of blood, decreased preload, relieves myocardial oxygen demand and myocardial pain with angina pectoris, right? PD5 inhibitors prevent the breakdown of CGMP. So that's why they're contraindicated together, nitrates and PDE5 inhibitors, because you can get hypotension as a result. You know the deal if you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.